All right, today we're gonna take this head and we're gonna put new valve guides in it. So um, I got a little trick the way I do it. You may have a better way. I don't know, I, I don't have a lot of special tools, so I try and use what I've got, you know, do everything on the cheap. But let's first look at these guides. Um, disassemble the head. I don't have to show you, I don't have to show you how to use one of these. I'm pretty sure you know how to do that. Take the head apart, take the, take the guides out. Let me just show you what we got here. This is typical. Every single head I've tore down has been this way. I don't care what the mileage is. Look how loose that is. It just wiggles up and down. You don't have to put a dial indicator to tell you there's more than two thousandths gap or play there. I only try this one here. Let's see how this one is. Same thing. You can just see how loose it is. So you got to replace these guides. Um, it's not a hard process to do, but let me show you how I do it. And it just makes things a little bit easier. First off, you've got to know how deep to set these guides. Okay, so what I do is I start with, I take a couple of the buckets, the valve adjuster buckets. Now, if you don't have X, I got to hold the bag full of them, so I don't have to worry. I got all mine in order, but if you're going to use the ones off the head, don't mix them up because otherwise your valve adjustment might be out. So you put the first one in upside down. Okay, get it all the way to the bottom. Take a screwdriver, kind of tap it, make sure it's down. Then take a second bucket and put it in the right way up, like that. Okay, make sure that you clean this off real good so it's got no oil or grease on it. And then take a little piece of tape like this. This is just regular old masking tape. And put it just above, see that? Just above that. So you're right there. Okay, so you can see there's the tape. When you push down, there's just a little bit of a gap left. So that's how, that's how you're going to set your depth on your new one. So to get this one out, just stick a screwdriver in here, it's real easy. Stick it right in the guide, just give it a little tap, it just comes right, right back out. Now, just to verify that you did it right, put it in another hole. Take another hole, all the way down, Take the, there's your one with the tape, put it back in there and see if you can repeat it. Look at that, exactly the same. Leave a little bit of gap there between the tape and the head, because otherwise, if you drive it down too far, you'll push the tape. You don't want to push the tape. So there it is right there. You can kind of see. And now you can you can sit and replace one at a time. Don't drive all six out and then drive all six in. Drive the first one out, put the first one back in. And that way, if, I don't know, let's say the tape came off or something happened, you, you've got something else. You always have one to reference to. So let's see how we do this here. This is the tool. I got this from uh, eBay. It was, I don't know, 12 bucks or something. It's a five millimeter uh, made to drive it out. Don't use a tapered punch because you'll spread it out. And you'll never get the guide out. So you don't want to do that. Um, this one was a little bit too big still because it had this coating on it. So I chucked it up in my drill and took a file and laid it on there and just made it smaller. So now you can see that it fits right in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a hammer. We're gonna use a, see we don't, see here, here in my garage, we don't use a claw hammer, okay? Because claw hammers are for carpenters. We're not working on wood, okay? So we're going to use a real hammer. It drives me nuts when I see people on YouTube that use a claw hammer. So you want to drive them out this way. Don't drive them through because if you drive them through, you take a chance of uh, creating a path for that guide to slide down when it's all back together. So flip it over. Start with the first one. You just put it in there. Let me... Uh, you see, where's, where's my, you got that? 
Or you can see it better this way. There's the guide right there. And you just slide that right in like that. And then take a hammer. There it is, guide is out. There's the old guide. Let's just see how loose it really is. So you can see how loose it is. I want to go get a new guide. Put your guides, your new guides in the freezer for at least, at least an hour. I prefer overnight, but at least an hour. So you look at this for a second. I'm going to run to the freezer and I'll be right back. two degree there's the new one and you can see no play at all unlike that piece of shit so it goes in like that see it's the same thing you put it in there kind of get her started right there and then you take a hammer Put these in dry. No. That looks pretty close. Now, where did my bucket go? Oh, it's right there. Put your bucket in. Put this on here. And I'll take a look right over here. You can see that the tape is not down where it should be. So we have to drive it in a little bit farther. So we take this off. Take this out. And we drive it in a little bit farther. If you drive it too far, you'll have to drive it back a little bit. But we really don't want to do that if we don't have to. Now it's getting closer. You can see it's getting closer. But it needs to go a little bit more. So we'll give it a couple more taps. Oops. Check it again. Better to do it five or six times and overdo it and have to drive it back and all that terrible stuff. Still not there. Still need to go a little more. too far. See, I screwed up. It was, it was hanging up. So, you see I goofed up the, the tape. So, we're going to have to redo it. I shut it off. we got to start over. Okay, well, I'm showing you my screw-ups too, because I'm not perfect. Uh, the I didn't push it all the way down, and I didn't get it all the way flush, but Come on in closer. So we're going to put it back in there. Go all the way down. Upside down. Make sure it's pushed all the way down. Then take your one with the piece of tape up. Slide that in there. It should slide in. Okay. Now if you come over on this side, you can, you can see... You can see that the uh, tape
tape is right where it should be. I had a flashlight here, but I don't know what the hell happened to it. Oh, anyways, there it is. That, that valve guide is in the way it's supposed to be. You can see the tape just gets to this edge right here. So that new guide is exactly as deep as it needs to be. All right, so you take this out. Sometimes getting these little buckets out is a kind of a pain, they stick. So you just flip it up and you take like a screwdriver or something, go right in the new guide, tap it out. Now, let's, let's see the difference between the old guide, you saw how the old guide was, and let's see how the new guide is. We'll slide it in there. Goes in real nice. Uh, should be no binding, no nothing. If you get into, into uh, any kind of a bind, take a, a little round um, Let me shut that off. Take a little round file, right here. And you can just go in there and just, just take the burr off the edge, right? If you still have a, a, a binding issue, it's probably because this valve guide is a lot tighter than the old one. And you see how you got carbon buildup on here? On that valve, you're gonna have carbon buildup on that stem. You gotta, what I do is I chuck it up in a, in a drill and I just touch it with a file, just to get all that gunk off of there. So when you're done, you end up with a guide that, I mean, I'm not even pushing it, it, it falls in. But let's look at the play. See how there's hardly any play? There's maybe a thou or two, just like they're supposed to be. But it's not wobbling around like this guy over here. Let's look, look, how, much, look how much movement you got over there. You can clearly see there's a ton of movement compared to the new one, which is nice and tight. So I just repeat the process for the other five. I'm not going to go through and do all five of them because, you know, that's kind of redundant. So, but by, by using this method of using the cups to set your depth, you can try measuring somehow and hopefully you get it right and who knows, you know, maybe you got a better way, but... That's how I do it. These aren't main bearings. If you're off by a half a thou or a thou or even two thousand, three thousand, probably really doesn't matter. Um, as long as you're relatively close and you're not too deep, you should be good. But again, freeze your new ones so they go in, put them in dry. And the other thing I do, a lot of people put grease on the, on the stem to uh, lubricate it. Grease doesn't last, it just burns off. Same thing with oil just burns off. If you want to do it right, graphite. Get some powdered graphite and, and just kind of work it into the metal. And the graphite can take the heat and it'll stay right there and it'll in, kind of impregnate itself into the metal. And you'll probably get a little more life out of your, uh, out of your new guides. And the new guides are brass, which tend to last longer anyway. So there it is. There's the old guide. I mean, if Mitsubishi was smart, they would put a shoulder on it. You could have just drove it down to the shoulder and been done. But no, that's too easy. So they're not going to do that. They're going to do it the hard way. I mean, they had problems before with guides sliding down on minivans on Chrysler vehicles. But there you have it. Um, I'm going to lap this valve in. You know how to lap valves in. If you don't, there's tons of videos to show you how to lap a valve in. I'll lap them in. And before I even took it apart, I poured... Um, rubbing alcohol in each of the, uh, these chambers and I watched for leakage and I had one leaking, one exhaust valve, I believe it was this one that was leaking just a little bit. So I'm starting out with a, a head that isn't leaking because if you see a bunch of leaks, you know, you gotta, you gotta really pay attention, but that's, that's what we're doing here today. So if there's something else exciting that uh, I can show you, I'll get back with you. So Keep plugging it. Oh, hey, since I got you here, I just found this out, but a little bonus here, a little bonus, because you watched the whole video. 
Underneath this bolt right here, this is your intakes. Underneath this bolt, there's a filter. There is an oil filter here, a little oil screen. It's like a little round. It's about this long filter that goes in there. This is your solenoid for the advancing the cam on the cam phaser. And this is, there's a filter behind here. So if I turn, I just tried it this morning, matter of fact, if you uh, want to do it in car, just take this 10 millimeter bolt out, pull that uh, solenoid out for the cam phaser, and you can get right to this. It's 14 millimeter uh, socket, take it right off. It's pretty tight, it's got a copper washer underneath. Take it out, the filter will come out with it. You can just take some brake clean, clean it off, and put it back in. Now, I, I don't know, you know, mine didn't have anything in it. This has a little bit of stuff in it, but not much. But next time you do an oil change, might not be a bad idea if you got a few miles on your car to just pop that out of there and clean it off and put it back. Uh, could save you, I don't know exactly what it uh, filters. I think it filters for the solenoid, but uh, just a little, little maintenance thing that I didn't know about. And I just found out about it today, so I'm sharing it with you. Alrighty, that's it for today. You guys all have a great time and... Uh, Enjoy putting your valve guides in. Bye.